Libra land. I was in the middle of your daily download. Hey, gorgeous queen of swords. And I got an important phone call and it's late. So I was surprised to hear from this person and it being late, I thought it might be an emergency. So I had to answer. I was like 10 minutes into your daily download. So I think I still might post it. I don't know. Let's just see. Oh my gosh. So I just heard the most interesting fact, Libra Land. And I have to tell you guys because I bet only some of you knew this. I didn't know. So, Mad Hatter. Why is he called the Mad Hatter? Yeah, my Wi Fi is being super wonky. So, the background noise music I have in the background is going to be cutting in and out. I apologize. That's why I couldn't go live today. I apologize, Leaperland. I wanted to go live again today. I so enjoyed our angel live messages from yesterday. So anyways, we got our card, our situation. <laughs> a king of cups has set a trap. Okay, I'll just say what comes to mind. And we made it out. We made it out alive. There was a trap set, Libra. And you did not fall into it. What? I've never been channeled that message before. This is all new to me, Libra. You dodged a bullet? What? What are my guides saying to me right now? Where should Leaper not focus? Top card. The Page of Wands. About some immature communication. Someone tried to make you choose, Libra? Or someone tried to make you take a side? Because I saw the Two of Swords at the bottom with the Page of Wands. So an immature fire sign was trying to make you have you make a decision about something. interesting where you should focus instead is the six of swords keeping it pushing keeping it moving i just saw three 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 on the clock you have guides and the sun you have guides moving away look it's like a flying sword I mean, flying sword, flying squirrel with the swords. Six of swords. Some of you are flying, you're moving away. Embracing, basking in the light. This is so positive, Libra. You're moving into a fresh positive cycle i almost want to whisper about it <laughs> like just keep it on the hush right now though libra okay just keep it on the hush let me tell you about the rest of the mad hatter okay so you're moving into this awesome positive new cycle with the sun you know the sun card is the most positive card in the deck the past is the echo has faded out, Libra. 
the echo is, is it's fading away the echo of your past it's it's fading away and it's time to move forward the good times always remain i'm not talking about that fading away love i'm talking about the times you could just you know forget <laughs> you wouldn't care if you forgot about i'm talking about those times i'm talking about um Toxicity, negativity, darkness, moving away from that with the Six of Swords and the Sun, obviously, and moving towards more light, positive times with the Sun, for sure. Now, the Mad Hatter. Why was the Mad Hatter called the Mad Hatter? Well, a hatter created hats. This person made hats. And the substance they used to bind the hats, like hat glue, was mercury back in the day. And so these hatters, the men and the makers of these hats, would be working with mercury all the time. And it eventually would drive them mad. The poison from working with the mercury. Message. I don't know, Libra. Something about that message and the Mad Hatter. Likely outcome. Eight of Cups. This full moon. Something is like finalizing. Libra, look. This Eight of Cups, there's a full moon. We're approaching the full moon. I believe this full moon is in the sign of Leo. For whatever reason, I have been extra emotional approaching this full moon. Full moons usually do not affect me. I don't have a lot of water in my chart at all. I'll be honest. Something about this approaching full moon, Libra. And you're swimming upstream. You're swimming upstream. You got this. You warriors. <sighs> you're not just any fish. You swim upstream against the current. Who said it was going to be easy? Libra knows. Nobody said it was going to be easy. It's nothing you can't handle. Look, the Ten of Wands. You can't, nothing, there, there will be no more burdens added, Libra. You're walking away from anything, anyone trying to add more burden onto your life. You're like this salmon. I'm like, I'm gone. I'm swimming upstream. Peace. Trying to go to get the paycheck. Mm -hmm. So leaving up the paper. Now we get to lay back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gwen Stefani. Shout out to her. She's a Libra. One more on the likely outcome. <laughs> They're like, no. You can have this, though. You can have that Ten of Wands. Yep. Work on it, Libra. Push hard. Go far. You will go far. You'll go long. Okay? Let long like the giraffe's neck. Got to reach up high for those coins and pentacles, babe, or sir. You got this. You got this, though. I 
I feel like you're trading out. I feel like, look, this Eight of Cups, you're swimming upstream. You're like, look, I cannot physically, the Ten of Wands, you're at the max capacity of stress. You're at the max capacity of responsibility. Okay, Libra? I feel like this is you. You're like, look, I'm at max capacity. I refuse to take on any more responsibility or anyone else's burdens or stress. I have my own woes. I have my own goals. I'm going to trade out this Ten of Wands. I'm going to keep swimming upstream. And I'm going to trade out the Ten of Wands for this Three of Pentacles here. Yep. From the safari to the jungle. Let's go. Wait. Whatever. Whatever that just meant. <laughs> From the safari. Oh, Libra. <laughs> Mad Hatter, what on earth? Oh, it's gar it's it's gonna be good, Libra. It's gonna be okay. Clarify the six of swords for Libra for their daily download. February seventh, extended, extendo version. I will post the first one. It was a different message, so. Yep. Libra. Just clarified where you should focus instead. That Six of Swords. Moving on up. Look, the goat. They think you're going to fall, but you keep scaling the freaking mountain. And you're going all the way to the top, Libra. The Eight of Pentacles. You got this. It's nothing you can't handle. You got this. You're among the greatest of all time, my Libran friends. Clarified by the horse. Horse train in the background. Ah. Seven of Swords. Who is this? Why are they here? Someone trying to add more burden to your load. I put the Seven of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Someone trying to add more stress to your life. That's who this is. Tell me more. Dang! What the heck? The Ten of Swords just came out when I asked to clarify the Seven of Swords. What about the Ten of Swords? The King of Swords. With the Eight of Wands at the bottom. Someone's going to alert me to some deception around 1010. Uh, someone that tried to... There will be... A duel? Between a deceptive mole, seven of swords, a deceptive mole. That's a gopher or something. Um, that tried to bring an ending and burden to Libra will be handled by the king of swords. They will be handled. Do you hear that trains in the background? And I just saw 1441. Research that angel number and see what it means for you. Let me pull you an oracle advice card really quick because my camera is getting ready to cut off. I apologize. I'm running out of time. I need to clear my device and free up more space. 
Advice card, Libra. Advice card, Libra. There it goes. Oh my gosh, you're so protected. Libra land, I love you so much. Give this reading a big thumbs up if it resonated for you. Here's your jack-o'-lantern card. Protection, always. Until next time, stay balanced and stay blessed. Peace.